Hi, my name is Giuseppe Marinacci and I'm a dentist with a holistic approach. Dental x-rays are harmful and they increase the risk of brain cancer. What is true in this very strong statement? So, we live in a radioactive world. Radiation is part of our natural environment. We are exposed to radiation from the materials in the earth itself, from naturally occurring radon in the air that we breathe, from outer space and from inside our own bodies as a result of the food and water we consume. Moreover, nowadays we are exposed to radiation when watching TV, using computers and smartphones, when smoking and flying. Radiation is measured in units called millisieverts. The average dose per person from all sources is about 6.2 millisieverts per year. How bad are radiations? A 10% increase in the probability of contracting tumors from radiation can be statistically measured when the total absorbed radiation dose reaches 2,500 millisieverts. It means a continuous exposure of 30 millisieverts per year for 8 years. How strong are dental x-rays and what risk do they involve? A small dental x-ray emits 0.005 millisieverts, equivalent to one hour flight of radiation at an altitude of 10,000 meters, or equivalent to 24 hours of normal breathing. So we need 6,000 small dental x-rays per year for 80 years to increase the cancer risk by 10%. A panoramic x-ray emits 0.017 millisieverts and a CT scan x-ray emits an average of 0.04 millisieverts. In short, with a 10-hour flight, we absorb the quantity of radiation equivalent to 10 small, free panoramic, and more than one CT scan x-rays. From food and water that we consume, we absorb about 0.4 millisieverts per year, equivalent to 10 dental CT scans. So, dental x-rays are very safe and useful, but as part of the radiation that can be controlled, any additional and not justified exposure to dental radiation should be avoided.